Hey everyone, I'm in the Prusa studio and I have the new polycarbonate Prusa Mint PC blend in my hands. And today I'm gonna take some product pictures of it, so I shared that a little bit because this time it's gonna be a little bit interesting. For every material that we have, we always have some sample model that goes with it. So for PLA, we have the low poly lion, for PETG, we have the clamp. And for ASA, because that's UV resistant, we have the bike bottle holder. But for the polycarbonate, we have something a little bit different. So we have this pulley for the PC blend that's just gonna be, you know, hanging in, in midair. So that's gonna be a little bit challenging to, you know, put on the picture so that it looks the same as our other product photos. So. My plan right now is to just take a picture of the spool by itself and then take picture of the pulley and compose it on top of each other in Photoshop. But there's another challenge, well, I mean a little bit. I've always used the GH5 for the product pictures, but honestly it's not the best for that. It's great for a video, really, we make all videos with the GH5, but for for the pictures, not so great. So uh, recently we switched we switched to the Nikon D7500, which is great. But yeah, I need the pictures to look the same ish. So I have the 25 millimeter uh, lens on the GH5, and that has a micro four third sensor, which is a crop factor of two. So that is full on full frame. That's 50 millimeter. So on the Nikon, which has ASPC sensor, that's 1.6. So if I divide 50, which is the 25 on the full frame, by 1.6, I get 31. So if I set this lens to 31 millimeter focal length, that should give the same perspective basically as the GH5 so <laughs> hopefully that that will work out so I will get into it and I will update you once I have something in my hands <laughs> yeah okay so this is happening so the pulley looks really bad when there's you know no weight on it the rope just kind of weirdly hangs on it so by uh, putting down some weight, <laughs> empty Prusa Mint spool, of course. It kind of looks decent. And yeah, now I'm just taking pictures of it in the air. And it's gonna be a pain to align all of the different police, different pictures to look the, look the same. Hopefully it'll work out. Okay, the shooting is done. I'm now sitting at my computer. So... I took several pictures of the same uh, pulley to make sure that I have multiple angles because, you know, it's never the same. Just to make sure that I have the same uh, angle for every pulley. And I've keyed them out. Uh, and I think they align pretty, pretty well. And then I have the keyed out pictures of the spools under it. And yeah, this is how it looks when I turn everything on. This is the final look. I'm actually really happy with it. Turned out really nice, I think. And the, the PC blend has just been released, so we can actually look at it, how it looks on the store page. And really my goal was to make it, you know, keep it as consistent as possible with the previous pictures, so that the spool is the same size and the... Uh, the sample object is about the same size and yeah, I think that worked out Looks good. I think <laughs> Anyway, we've also released a blog post about the polycarbonate where you can read everything about it What are the benefits of it? Why should why you should use it? So if you have any questions about the polycarbonate, I suggest you to read the blog post Okay, that's it. Bye